As you know, we love filming our television programs out west. I just love the west. But we are having our Jesus is Real conference this year in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Black Fox Lodge, October the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. I hope you can make plans to come. We're not only going to give you a lot of music and a lot of Bible teaching, but folks, this is a time we can meet you one-on-one -on -one and talk with you and share with you. You get to see us throughout the year on television and YouTube and Facebook, but this is a chance that we can meet you personally. So call the number on the screen, and I hope to see you at our next Jesus is Real conference. Welcome friends to This is Carol Robertson. For over 35 years, Carol has been lifting up Christ in word and song. Here's evangelist Carol Robertson. Welcome friends to the program this week and welcome to our prayer garden here in Mississippi. We believe the program this week will be a great blessing to you as we begin a new series entitled Kingdom Living as we focus on the Sermon on the Mount. But it reads differently when you look at it within its context. So we've got a lot for you the next several weeks, and I believe it's going to take you to another level in your Christian faith. But first, let's go to breathtaking Colorado and praise the Lord in song. I am a traveling preacher man And I travel across the land out of all the memories I have kept There's still a few good people left In every place that I go I find a few who love the Lord There have been times that I wept To know there's a few good people left So Lord help me Never to forget In this world there's still a few good people left There is sunshine, there is rain There can be joy in the midst of pain Lord, help me to do my best Be one of the few good people left In a world that's really changed There is something that remains The work of God has never slept He has a few good people left So Lord help me Never to forget In this world there's still a few good people left So Lord help me Never to forget In this world there's still a few good people left in this world, there's still a few good people left. This week, we're going to be looking at the introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. In Matthew chapter number four, the very last verse, we read verse 25, and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. Jesus had been baptized in the river of Jordan and he began his Galilean ministry, my favorite part of his ministry, up in the Galilee, a beautiful place in the springtime. And it didn't take very long before the phenomenon of the Lord Jesus caught on and people were following him from everywhere. Keep in mind they didn't have 
commercials, uh, billboards, computers, televisions, radio, anything in those days. Not even a microphone. But the Holy Spirit was drawing people from everywhere to come hear Christ the Lord. Because He was the Son of God. They had never heard anyone like Jesus. They had never seen anyone like Jesus. And Jesus took the opportunity with the crowds gathering to teach them the greatest sermon probably that He ever gave. They were expecting the Messiah to set them free from Roman oppression. They were expecting the Messiah to lead a military revolt. But Jesus' words was totally opposite. And in a few minutes, we're going to look at Matthew chapter 5, verse number 1, where Jesus taught this sermon. And it's one of my favorite places in the Holy Land. I was wandering out in sin, had no hope, no peace within. Jesus came and took me in, made me what I am. Now I'm trusting Jesus every day, walking in the narrow way. I've got a reason now to live on the promise that He gives. Now I'm living on His promise for tomorrow. Standing on His Word every day I'll walk in the light Till my faith turns to sight I'm living on His promise all the way I believe what Jesus said That He rose from the dead The promise that He gave to me That I'll live eternally It's impossible for God to lie His promise I will live by Till I reach that golden strand And He takes me by the hand Now I'm living on His promise for tomorrow Standing on His word every day I'll walk in the light Till my faith turns to sight I'm living on His promise all the way I'm living on His promise for tomorrow Standing on His word every day I'll walk in the light till my faith turns to sight I'm living on His promise all the way Matthew chapter 5, verse number 1, we have a wonderful introduction to this great, great sermon. The Bible says, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. Many great things happened in the Holy Bible on mountains, and Jesus took this opportunity as the multitudes were gathering to climb up on a mountain just north of the Sea of Galilee. It's my favorite place in the Holy Land. I've been able to walk down this mountain many times. But the setting was, Jesus would have been down below in the plain and the people would have been sitting up on the mountain. And thousands and thousands of people could hear Jesus without a microphone. It has a natural acoustic sound there at the Sea of Galilee. And when the wind blows across the water in the late afternoon, you can hear someone's voice hundreds and hundreds of yards away. We've done it experiments in the Holy Land over the years. And Jesus was there. Thousands of people were there. And He begins to tell them how they can live the kingdom life. How is Jesus the King and how is that wrought in me? I'm following Jesus as the King, so how am I going to live this kingdom life? And Jesus is about to tell them. My life was changed in a moment of time when I trusted Jesus. I felt His hand in mine. My life was changed 
in the twinkling of an eye. Now I have the assurance of my home in the sky. When I called his name, he took away my fear. I've never been the same I'll serve him all through the years My life was changed With one touch from the Lord My heart he rearranged So I could live forever When I called his name He took away my fears I've never been the same I'll serve him all through the years My life was changed In a moment of time When I trusted Jesus, I felt His hand in mine. Carol's newest CD, The Promise, is one of his best collections ever. Songs like A Few Good People Left. So Lord, help me Never to forget In this world there's still a few good people left Jesus put my life done. together Jesus put my life together and gave me a work to do My life was changed My life was changed In a moment of time The Promise and many more powerful songs. Counting on his promise of righteousness. With a combination of high quality production and the clear message of Christ, we believe this CD will encourage you in your faith. Carol's music has been touching people all over the world for almost 40 years. He has sold millions of CDs, and now his music is not only available on CD, but also you can download his music on places like Spotify and other download services. Many people share Carol's inspiring music with their family and friends. Thank you again for your prayers and support. For the last 40 years, I have dedicated my life to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it has been an honor and it has been a joy. Every day, Donna and I share the gospel of Jesus with people all over this world. And we need your help. In a changing world, we're not underwritten by mega churches or big organizations. This ministry is funded by ordinary people just like you. So if you believe in what we're doing, would you let us hear from you? We need your prayers, and we also need your financial support to keep this ministry going around the world. Would you help us? Thank you so much. Kinder man I want to be A shining light for all to see Walking in the power of God's Son Abiding in His love each day In His will I want to stay There I know the Lord can make me more like Him More like Him I find my need for things of earth Are growing dim For the Savior's love has given me A greater peace within More like Jesus now 
I'm searching for the lost to win. Oh God, I pray each day you'd make me more like Him. His servant I will always be For Jesus gave his life for me To bring about this change Within my heart He took my sins upon a tree Now he lives inside of me his love is real and that's what makes me more like Him More like Him I find my need for things of earth are growing dim For the Savior's love has given me a greater peace within or like Jesus now, I'm searching for the lost to win. Oh God, I pray each day you'd make me more like Him. Oh God, I pray each day you'd make me more like Him. The background to the Sermon on the Mount, as we talk about kingdom living, is the scribes and the Pharisees, they had practiced just outward ceremonialism, and it was empty and it was dry. And that's the contrast to kingdom living. I want to read you what I'm talking about. In Matthew 5, verse number 20, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus came offering righteousness to the people, contrasting the empty religiosity of the scribes and Pharisees. Jesus said, you must exceed what they're doing. Now they were doing everything right on the outside, but they were lost on the inside. And I don't want that to happen to you. We want to learn how we can live the kingdom life, not like the scribes and the Pharisees. Later on in Matthew 6, verse number 5, Jesus said, When thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Here again, Jesus is calling a group of people hypocrites because they're doing what they're doing to be seen of other people. Kingdom people do not do that. We do what we do because we simply love Christ. We're not hypocrites. Now let's take you to another song in Colorado and I'll be back with another passage of scripture as we think about the introduction to this great, great Sermon on the Mount. You can see it on your television See it on your telephone How crime has taken our nation This old world is about to go We need a good old case of salvation And get the love of God in our souls We need a whole lot more of Jesus A lot less rock and roll We need more God called preachers and God's word across this land Instead of seeing fancy churches We need to feel God's mighty hand We need a nationwide revival And get the love of God in our souls We need a whole lot more of Jesus A lot less rock and roll we need a whole lot more of Jesus Our nation is on the line We need 
to all be ready for Jesus coming in the sky. We need a nationwide revival and get the love of God in our souls. We need a whole lot more of Jesus and a lot less rock and roll. We need a whole lot more of Jesus. Our nation is on the line. We need to all be ready for Jesus coming in the sky. We need a nationwide revival and get the love of God in our souls. We need a whole lot more of Jesus, a lot less rock and roll. We need a whole lot more of Jesus, a lot less rock and roll. If you're watching us today on YouTube, you can communicate with us. Just go to the comments and let us know your concerns, your praises. We'll pray for you. Carol and I want to make you our brothers and our sisters in Christ. That's what we are. We're a family. And I want you to know you're my family. Now don't forget, if you're watching us on YouTube, go to the comments. I love you, and I know that Jesus loves you more. As we think about the introduction to Kingdom Living and an introduction to the Sermon on the Mount, I want to read the last few verses of Matthew chapter 7. Listen to this. Matthew 7, verse 28 and 29. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at His doctrine. Why? For He taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. So as we go into this great Sermon on the Mount, think with me, the people had never heard anyone like Jesus. They were used to hearing rabbis say the same thing Sabbath day after Sabbath day. And these rabbis would repeat what some other rabbi had said. Think about, you've been in church services before when you didn't feel the Holy Spirit. It was just dry repetition, dry repetition. Well, that's what the people were hearing in Jesus' time. And here comes Christ. <laughs> and Him being the Son of God, He gives them a fresh word from heaven. He didn't have to read a script. It was coming right out of His heart. And He's teaching them not only to follow Him, repent of their sins, and believe He is the Messiah, but He's going to teach them how they are to live this kingdom life. And that's what you and I need to know. We know in our culture there's a great disconnect between professing Christians and living the Christian life day by day. And that's what we need in our country today. We need people who live for God's kingdom. And when I come back, we'll talk about being a member of the kingdom of heaven. got the love of Jesus way down in my heart And I know the best is yet to come I've got silver in the stars Gold in the morning sun Gold in the morning sun I've got gold in the morning sun God's promises are true I've got gold in the morning sun He gave me a work to do I know He will guide me Until my work is done I've got silver in the stars and gold in the morning sun Gold in the morning sun I've got the promise of Jesus Of everlasting life His joy until my race is run I've got silver in the stars Gold in the morning 
sun Gold in the morning sun I've got gold in the morning sun God's promises are true I've got gold in the morning sun He gave me a work to do I know He will guide me Until my work is done I've got silver in the stars And gold in the morning sun 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 Scholars have debated over the centuries about is there a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven? Well, after studying some Hebrew in Jerusalem years ago, I personally believe they're one and the same. Because sometimes the Jews would not say the name God. You know, they would say G-D. And they would use the synonym heaven for God. So I think he's talking about the same thing. But my question to you is this. Are you just a member of a local church? Have you been confirmed at your church, maybe been water baptized, but you're not a member of the kingdom of heaven? You can't live kingdom living if you're not a member of God's kingdom. And how do we become a member of God's kingdom? By repenting, turning from our sins, believing Jesus is the Son of God, inviting Him to come into our heart and to give us a brand new beginning, a brand new start. Beg Him, ask Him to make you a part of His kingdom. You know, Donna and I pray a lot every morning, God, thank you for putting us in Thy kingdom. And then He saves us and He gives us an opportunity to help build up His kingdom while we're living on this earth. Isn't that amazing? And I pray today that if you're not a member of the kingdom of heaven, that you'll invite Christ to come in today and that you'll get started on this journey of kingdom living so other people can see Jesus in you. That's what it's all about. And next week we're going to begin the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. Don't you dare miss it because we're going to be looking at them in context. Remember, the Bible reads differently when you read it within its context. I love all of you. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for your prayers and support. We pray that the program has been a blessing to you. And you can also watch us 24-7 on YouTube.com. And please subscribe to our channel. Also, you can follow Carol every day on Facebook. You may write to us at Carol Robertson Ministries, 203 South Clayton Street, Ripley, Mississippi, 38663. Our ministry website is simply carolrobertson.com. Until next week, may others see Christ in you is our prayer. <laughs>